Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about how to print the tables. So using for loop actually. So we will want to use the for loop. Using for loop we will want to print the tables. For example here uh, the syntax for for is simple. For here you have to initialize. Okay. Initialize first. Put semicolon. Again after that test condition. Okay, again after that you have to uh, increment or decrement. So this is the syntax. And here, so you want to print the statement that is S1. So lo logic is very simple. For example, when you are printing the tables, uh, 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. Again, 2 into 2 that is equal to 4. So 1, 2, 3. So like that it will going to be, um, you will going to get the series. So we want the table in the format. So what is that exactly logic is very simple actually. So keep the n constant and so let me take this value as a n here, this one too. And this one, let me take this one as i here. So nothing but what happens here, n into i that is equal to answer. How the answer you people are getting? So answer is equal to answer is equal to so what is that exactly? N into I. This is the one. Sorry. So this is the one. Okay. How to get the uh, format for this? Very simple actually. What we have to do here. This is percentage um, I will show you that uh, that one in program. Don't worry. Otherwise, uh, wait. I will show you in the program. Don't worry. That. Now see. Open this uh, code blocks here. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Here, what we will do? Basically, we want to write the program for uh, tables. I told you very clearly, you have to take two variables. Let's take two variables, simple. Uh, int i and uh, one more variable, let's take n. Okay, that is number. Now, what I will do, I will ask the user to enter the n value. So, that's why printf, here I will say, enter the value of yeah, that's it. This is enough for this. Again, I have to take the input, right? That's why use the scanf. Scanf function. Again, here, what you have to do? Percentage D. Again, I have to take the address of that particular variable. That's why I am percent and that's it. So it will search that particular address and I will want to put the value inside that particular variable memory. Okay. Now, what exactly we have to do? We have to write a logic now. So how to write the logic? Before that, what I will do, I will going to give one small statement before that. So here I will write something like this. Uh, print f. f. I will say very clearly what is that? Tables of tables of tables of percentage d mm, that is equal to or like this i will want to mention and comma which table that is actually whatever the n value will want to give based on that table you will want to get it that's why n here that's it now i will make it next line because we want it next line okay now see here so very simple for Hmm. For i value equal to zero, comma i is less than or equal to ten, like this also you can able to give. Otherwise, i is less than eleven, that is also fine. Sorry, less than eleven, that is up to ten. It will do. After that, it will become false and it will not going to be executed. 
again what i will do further i said increment plus plus i will do otherwise i plus plus anything a both will not go into affect anything okay let me take post increment now what i will do see i will want to print the n value first print f here so i told you the format that is the format you have to follow that's why here i will take percentage d again star because n into i okay that's why percentage star again percentage d one more time that is equal to um, percentage d one more time that is uh, final calculation and push next line that's it that is enough now for this percentage d what is the value you are taking basically n value will take input n value that is and again for this percent what you will going to take it for this particular integer so variation is happening with the i that's what again final answer is n into i this is your print statement okay so automatically we're going to get the answer here let me run this Okay, enter the value of uh, something if I take 4, see, so it is taking uh, tables of 4 into 0, 4, 4 into 1, 4, okay, uh, 4 into 2, 8, 4 into 3, 12, like that we are getting all the things, but uh, we don't want 0, if you don't want 0, you make i value equal to 1, if you want it, you start from 1, there is no, okay, now one more time you compile. And after that, one more time, you run it. So now I will take 9. So you can see tables of 9 is 9. Like this, I want to mention it. 18, 27, like that, you will want to get it. So this is how you will want to write the tables using for loop. And if you want to understand whether uh, the code is executed completely or not, you write one more statement here. Print F. Okay. Rest of the code. Rest of the code. That's it. That is enough. Okay. Last time I will take. Uh, let me take uh, uh, 22 stable or 25th stable. So we are getting right. Okay. So any tables, any number tables, we can able to take it. It's a very simple program, easy program. Okay. So thank you.